I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition, flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, it's born like this. Hey, YouTube, Nurse JT, back with the video. I kind of miss you guys. It's been a minute, and I'm really, really sorry for that. But I have great news. It seems like every time I get on here, I got some good news for y'all. But I do have really, really good news. For those of you who don't know, I did transfer from the emergency room to the ICU. I'm in a trauma unit, the trauma ICU here at 11-1 Hospital. And I sat for my CCRN after being on the floor about four months. And I passed. <clears throat> and I'm like really, really excited about it because this is a very monumental point in my career. I really, really needed this certification in order to move forward with everything that I have planned. This is not the first time I took the CCRN. I'm gonna just say that and put that out there. I did take it once before when I was in the emergency room and I, I didn't pass. I failed, I failed and I cried. I cried like a whole hour. I think I cried like a whole hour. I had a headache. I couldn't even leave the um, parking lot. I was so sad because I just knew I was going to go in there and pass this test and then get to move on with my life and move forward. But that didn't happen, you know. I'm a Virgo. I'm used to planning my life out. And sometimes, you know, life throws those curveballs and I don't be ready. And they be knocking me over. But I made it because... It really, really made me say, I really need to get into the ICU because evidently I don't know as much as I thought I did. And getting to the ICU was one of the best things I could have done for my career. But anyways, back to the CCRN. So the CCRN is basically a certification for critical care nurses. It's basically like the boss chick of extra letters that you can put at the end of your name. Like instead of being like Jasmine Thomas, BSN, RN, because I have my bachelor's. I'm like Jasmine Thomas, BSN, RN, CCRN, because I got four extra letters now. <laughs> but anyway, so I use three things to pass the CCRN. I use the Laura Gasparis is the number one thing, especially if you've already been in the ICU and you know what you're doing. I was new to the ICU. So I was learning the ICU and trying to study for the CCRN at the same time, which it kind of helped me be a better ICU nurse studying for the CCRN. I'm not even going to lie to you. But Laura Gasparis, she is a nurse that travels the entire country doing like um, certification prep courses, so to speak, for the CCRN. So she does these classes. I think they're like two or three days long. And it's like $300, so it's pretty steep. And she teaches you everything that you need to know. She goes over everything that you need to know for a CCRA in order to pass it. And then that's it. She also has them. I did not go to that $300 class, okay? I, I bought the DVDs online. You can buy her DVDs online on Amazon. You can even buy them on her website. I will drop the link. Um... The only thing I will say with the videos is that it's really not good quality. It looks like it's from, like, the 90s, like, you know, when they used to take VHSs and, like, turn into a DVD. Like, that's exactly what it seems like they did. But she's so funny. She's so smart. Even though it was, like, two, three days worth of material, gave me pretty much a good basis of what I felt like I needed to know. But, but like I said, to me... That wasn't enough. So there was two other things that I used. I wish I had this the first time I sat for the CCRN. I probably would have passed because this thing was like life. Like it literally breaks down every system. It goes over every system, all the things you need to know. It does every system. They do a pretest. It goes over every system. There's questions at the end of every section. And then there's like three free questions. Oh, I mean three full length CCRN tests at the back after you've gone over every session, which is what I did. I did the Laura Gasparis' book videos, made notes to that. Then I got the Barons, went over each section, did the test questions. And then I did the practice questions in the back. And this, okay, this, some people like the past CCRN book. I absolutely hated it. As you can see, it looks like an encyclopedia. 
you young kids probably don't even know what encyclopedias are. But for us, you know, 80s, early 90s kids, we know what encyclopedias are. And this is like an encyclopedia. It was way too much. It is good for when you need to know, like, details. Like, if there's a topic you don't remember at all, and you need to go way back to, like, every little thing, this probably would be good. Only to go for those sections. But I wouldn't recommend buying it. You can buy it. But if you want to, you can buy it at Bar Barnes & Noble, Amazon, whatever. Past TCRN. But the most valuable thing in this is, I don't, and I don't even have it because, of course, I used it. But a DVD comes with this. The past CCRN has a DVD of question banks. So, 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 I can't even stress to you guys how important these question banks are. It's 1,000 questions. 1,000 question, 1,000 question bank. If you don't want to get the book, which I don't recommend you do, because I feel like it's just too much. You have to have to have to get this question bank. It is going to be the death of you if you don't. Like, no exaggeration. So after I did the Barons, I did the past CCRA questions. And I literally did questions from the time I started getting ready for the CCRA until the day before the exam. They have it to where, just like the Barons, you can break it up by sections. And you can also um, take full take full exams, which is great because it's timed. And you really want to make sure that as you're getting closer to your date, that you're still within your time frame because you have three hours to take this test. And you want to make sure that you finish it in the time that you need. So I'm going to go over my results from where I passed and the time that I didn't pass. When, when I didn't pass, my score was 85. You needed 87 correct answers. So I missed it by two points. I was so sad. I was just distraught. Like, months later, I took the test again. I got 98 correct answers out of 87. Um, you really need to make sure that your cardiac, your neuro, your pulmonary, really your cardiac and pulmonary are going to be your top two in your neuro and your multi-system. Make sure that those four areas you're very, very strong in because th that's the bulk of the test. I think it's like, what, 150 questions? It's 150 questions, 25 of which there's no right or wrong answer. There's just like um, questions they just like throw in there, I guess. But um, really you're graded out of 125. So you really wanna make sure, like I said, your cardiac and pulmonary, your neuro and your multi-system, you're strong in those areas. So I passed the CCRN. I'm so glad that I did. It's one less thing <laughs> off my checklist that I can say that I achieved. Whatever area that you're in, whatever specialty area that you're in, I really recommend that you do take it. You get, some places give you raises. You get two, three dollars an hour more, depending on what license you have or licenses that you have, the more the merrier, the more the more money you actually can get. You also can get reimbursed from your um, place of employment for the test, because the test is pretty expensive. It's like $300 to sit for your CCRN. And I had to sit for it twice. <laughs> so I spent like $600, but that's also test deductible. So um, like I said, I hope this helped you guys. I hope it really made you want to sit for your CCRN, and I hope it answered all of the questions that people have been sending me on Instagram. And I really hope that we as a nursing community were able to realize that we really need to be on top of our game. We're going to be forever learning. So we need to make sure that we're getting our certifications, that we're getting our CEUs and not just writing off CEUs, that you actually know what it is that you're doing. Because prior to getting to the ICU, working in the ER, I had no idea what supertentorial herniation was. I had no idea what nematop was. I had no idea what to do with the patient that was on three or four pressors. No idea at all. But you couldn't tell me that I didn't know when I was in the ER. And the CCRN let me know, no, you don't know. So like I said, I really encourage 
everyone to get their certifications in whatever specialty area that they're in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you get those Lauren Gaspar's DVDs, the Baron's book, the past CCRN DVD. You don't have to buy the book in order to get the DVD. And study, study, study. I studied almost every day. I had gave myself one day a week where I did absolutely nothing. And you just got to get it done and you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Can't wait to see you guys back again. Write me questions. I love interacting with you guys. Most of you are so positive. I really love the energy and the love. So thank you guys so much. I wouldn't even have a channel if it weren't for you. So see you next time. Bye.